Hello guys, what's up? So there have been a lot of issues with need for speed payback. So here I am with some of the fixes. I got some mail and comment from gamers who have asked me that they are facing a lot of issues. So in this video, I will be covering few issues and their fixes. So let's get started with that. So the first issue is that crash at startup and the game is not responding. So for that, one of the fixes is that you should update to NVIDIA or AMD drivers to the latest version, disable antivirus or add the game to the exception list of the antivirus software. If your game is crashing while going full screen, try playing in the windowed mode. If your game is crashing during the first HEAST mission, make sure that your GPU is not overclocked. AMD users can also try rolling back to the 17.7.2 WHQL drivers. So this is one of the fish fix for the crash at startup. Now for black screen, you can also use that fix if it doesn't fix your issue. You can wait for an update. So now let's talk about the DLL issues. So for any DLL error or app crash issues, which uh, mostly people are experiencing with this game, it is recommended to do a clean install of DirectX or you can download the missing DLLs from here the download link of that would be given in the comment section and paste them in the game directory install all executables from the redistribute folder of your games directory so this was about DLL issues now let's talk about the game won't launch issue now people are experiencing that when they double click on the icon the game never opens up and when you see the task manager also you can see that the game is running but the game is not launching now if you are unable to launch NFS playback from origin it is advised that you update your origin to the latest version then do a clean install of the game and it should start properly. Now this may work for a few people I am not sure about this fix because this has a 50% acceptance and this fix is not 100% proof. So my advice is that you download origin update it and then install this game So and hopefully that will fix your that game not launching issue moving on to the another issue which people are experiencing is that low fps shuttering issues freezes lag fixes the game is not running properly while playing the game freezes at moments which is very irritating so for that what you should do the prerequisite of that is that you should update your graphics card drivers if you're facing optimization issues, severe lags or shutters, you can try turning down shadows, anti-aliasing and adjust other graphics settings. Updated GPU driver is mandatory for those of you facing random freezing in game. There is a workaround to disable game mode for Windows 10 if it is active. This is only for Windows 10. Press Windows key, click on settings, go to gaming, game mode and then disable it. I'm not sure for Windows 7 or the lower version you can use this feature or not. For AMD users, disable RAPTR from Task Manager, disable any other intensive application that may be running in background. Also try setting this mode to 8x or 16x and texture filtering quality to performance from a latest Grimson Edison Radiant software to fix the frame rate drops. So this was a fix for the NVIDIA users as well as AMD graphics card users. Now let's move on to the next issue which people are facing no audio during game error. Now this issue is faced by people and sometimes what is happening that the audio is coming but in between the audio is lagging or there is no audio absolutely especially when the story is playing. So many players have faced this issue when you are not able to hear any character speaking during races or not receiving any phone calls. One way to fix this is go to your speaker setting and set it to stereo. To do this right click speakers, playback devices, click speakers, configure speakers, set it to stereo then click apply. And I also recommend restarting your system too. Also check that your sound drivers are functioning properly and updated. Try reinstalling the game if the issue persists, it, if nothing helps wait for an official update or a patch from EA. Now I have tried to accommodate few of the issues then their fixes. For any other issues which is not mentioned in the video you can put your comment below and I will be trying 
to give you some fixes for it and if you try all these fixes and still you face any issues just wait for an update which is which can come in the following weeks so hopefully you like this video soon i will be coming with my vlog 4 so 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 don't forget to hit that subscribe button as hard as you can and hopefully you have liked this video so till then don't forget to hit that subscribe bye bye see you in another exciting video bye bye keep gaming